Hi there! Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake with Clark and Spencer. And me! Clark heads to the slums in this one, and we all discuss the nature of Avalanche while listening to the musings of the neighborhood NPCs. Have fun. About something that doesn't matter. Oh, I can't run. Nope. Yeah. I don't know, because I thought I'd have to walk through like 10 different cars. You may still have to do that. Anti Shinra? What does that mean? Shinra is the uh, company that kind of runs the Maka reactors and oh, a bunch of this stuff. This is Shinra City. Yeah. Yeah, Midgar is Shinra's city. <laughs> this giant plate. This giant city on plates. Whoa, that's a lot of messages. Because there's a lot of people, and they're all talking. And they all stopped. <laughs> Why did they stop talking? <laughs> You're not exactly the most uh, unimposing person. The party won't stop till I start till I walk in. The party stops when you You just said, you ha do you have a second? You can talk to him. <laughs> uh... You look at him and you then look at him, press triangle. you see that? There we go. <laughs> uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station yet. and all over Sector Eight. I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands are still shaking. You get used this to it. My daughter, now Something to look Sector forward eight, to, so... or maybe not. Leave <laughs> me alone, all right? Yeah. Same Why don't color. you learn to take a hint? <clears throat> I'm sure he spent a lot of time picking out those colors. Green and green. Okay, can I triangle anybody else? You might think. You have to get more in front of him. There you go. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I am. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. What does that mean? Unburden yourself. Like, talk. Oh. I never knew my dad. Look at that perfectly this? mirrored texture on the ground. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> my see, I my headphones are really effective at blocking you out. And I don't want That's them. That's good. None of my comments are worth. <laughs> Ouch. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be saying such things, not you about yourself. Okay, None I'll... of these NPCs you can talk to. Oh. Not important. I just hear them. The fire was really big. Yeah, it was. I was there, lady. You might not want to specify that. Yeah. Nah, bro. That's the coolest part about being in a terrorist plot is you get to brag to all your friends. Jesse just asked for your help. <laughs> oh, I need to do the triangle thing again. Nope. Thinking about it, the bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there. Maybe you're just right? really good at making right. bombs. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just looking nope. for excuses for something that False was flagging everybody. Fault. A good listener is, a, is short for somebody who just doesn't say anything. I thought you were going to say for a good listener. <laughs> what kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? Uh, they've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Who's that? Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. <laughs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Do we know who Avalanche is? They're them. Yeah. We, very yes. <laughs> we are Avalanche? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crap. So they're actually on to us now. Really? 
<laughs> and how would you not be on the <laughs> Okay, that's you know, true. You, you start talking about, like, how dare Avalanche do this? And then this kid, big guy with the machine gun goes, How dare you talk about Avalanche? That <laughs> well, that's okay. So now Barrett is doing the exact thing we were talking about not doing, which is telling everybody. Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence. Dude, you're already submitting right now by not standing up and punching me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting on this subway <laughs> chair, peeing your pants. <laughs> Shinra has a creed about not being intimidated. I thought your job was to, like, make stuff and make money. Yeah, my conscience says we should get off this train seat before I pee my pants. Okay. But yeah, he is a little conspicuous with a giant gun on his arm. And you with a giant sword on your back. <laughs> Calm down, it's just a sword. <laughs> I love that. This isn't just you should probably sword. talk to him. Oh, I can talk to him now? Yep. <laughs> you didn't notice the giant circle as no, you passed I didn't. by? No, I didn't! Enlightening things to say. Yeah. This will be you important. can talk to him again if you want. Yeah, I that's what I'm that's what I'm working on. They're We're the good guys, damn it. Barrett will remember this. Barrett, yeah. <laughs> Barrett everyone thinks that the good guys. You can also rotate the camera down a bit if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Like that. And you have now passed the Dark Souls test of repeating dialogue. Yep. The Dark Souls test. Just like real life. You know, you could rotate rotate the camera down you so go. you can actually see where you're going. Oh look, it's me! Hi, mom. <laughs> look at the TV. I'm on TV. Yeah. Hey, everybody! I'm on TV. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. Wait, she's just the using the screen? I wonder if the, that's probably the actual ground. wireframe model. <laughs> the top stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. Why is it floating? The train will be passing it's not floating. Checkpoint shortly. Isn't this whole city on top this of something? Is the yeah. route. It's on top of a massive see, pillar. It'll take us around oh. this main pillar. Look. We're about halfway through it now. You're about to go underneath it. You'll, it'll be pretty obvious how this works once you get down there. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Turns out it's actually a lot of Your IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Pizza in the sky? Shinra sucks up Mako while the talking about Medgar. Oh, the air feels which is small a pizza? It's a flower. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. Clearly, okay, well, that's, that's not what I'm doing this time. <laughs> If you're only out for yourself, but the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. There's two. <laughs> Forward and backward. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it is stuck on a line. It can only go between two different points. <laughs> There's only one way to go if you like don't want to get decommissioned. Yeah. Well, okay. If you don't so want to there's... get rapidly disassembled. There's forward, there's backward, and then there's derailed. Well, yeah. There's forward to the end, and then there's backwards to getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we stick well. out like a cloud. Detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. And none of the passengers heard you talking about bombs. <laughs> Lower your voices, huh? Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now get some on. Uh, you've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> <laughs> There's this that being loud. Secret See you soon. Uh, at seven <laughs> That's funny. You know where Tifa works? Who's Tifa? Don't keep your away. childhood friend. Oh yeah, who like <laughs> died? No, she no. didn't. <laughs> I thought she died because everything was on fire. Remember no. the flashback with Sephiroth and everything was on fire and that was his mother. Oh, okay. I'm just <laughs> dumb. No, Tifa's childhood friend, like, is mildly involved in Avalanche. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> she's she's one of the groupies for our terrorist group. She owns the bar that everyone meets at. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, she's the I, she's I the bar owner of the seven. Job seven. offer, dude. At I least need I haven't seen money. anyone else <laughs> taking care of the bar. But oh yeah, I, I don't want to get plenty of I don't plenty of uh, things. I want to work in job the offers. I mean, side quests yeah, soon. <laughs> Some guys on the train were saying stuff about Shinra, criticizing the good work we do. Ingrates, I hope you were able to talk some sense into them. Nope. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, dear. He wants to look good. Nope. Okay, well. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Me too. You're in the Sector 7 slums now. Don't let them avalanche. Don't let them bleed the planet dry, avalanche. Hey, we got posters now. Yeah, go ahead and look up now. Now that is the giant pizza in the sky. Yep, that is Midgar. Okay, because <laughs> slice it. So we're down here on the actual Earth surface, and they built this superstructure above it. Yep. Yep. And that Why? right above is the Sector 7 plate. Why did they build There's it? There's like... a bunch of sections that are called like the Sector 7, 8, yeah, 9, and each 6, sector's a 5 slice of pizza. plate. <laughs> and that's why you were in that Sector 8 where everything was named after Sector 8. Yeah. And you were on the Sector 8 plate. And so when it's daytime, it's still dark down here. No. no. They have lights. Yeah, there are massive lights up on the up on the plate up on the bottom of the plates that act as uh, an artificial sunlight. But yeah, it doesn't look like the, like the lady from Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> what is he? What is her name again? I don't remember. All I remember is none of these people are letting me talk to. Also, whatever. Yes. Man, all that. Yeah, well, shoes on <laughs> yeah, the other I mean, foot I've never played it. <laughs> nice. They're people too, you know. So Everyone's then, people, you know. Yes. So then why was this superstructure built? Like, why didn't they just put more buildings down here? Why do they have to build Why do you build skyscrapers? This is much bigger than it's a regular old sky skyscraper. It's all, it's all above the uh, smog and slums. Yeah. Here you can put all the slums on the bottom where no one can even reach them. Yeah, I saw some helicopters too. Piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Yeah, I was there. Okay. Zoom. Zoom. He must be important. He's important because he has a good near Yeah. Dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. You're just gonna back I mean, talk a giant work. swords man. That's not progress. <laughs> uh. 
What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's a premonition. That seems very much like a premonition. It does look like a premonition, yes. Shoutouts to Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, wow. it does look an awful lot like a like a Xenoblade uh, Especially because Shulk premonition. Like in the future. <laughs> yes. I wanted to break the. So he thinks that this is progress, yep. and I think it's not. Well, you're not him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, and then there's these guys, and I can't kill these guys either. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Due to an emergency, entry like into this calling area is cops into this place. I mean, it couldn't get any worse. You call it could. It could oh. get way worse. Great. <laughs> I don't know, soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> I love how I'm the only one that looks like this. You're not the only one who looks like this in the world. It's because you're special, and only special people get to look. Yep. But yet they don't notice that. You're not the only soldier with a massive sword who can take out lots of lots of normal people. I'm the or, first one I've like seen. Like Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. I mean, it, it, I mean, it talks about in the game how you were part of the, an elite unit. <laughs> yeah. You don't want soldiers coming here. Okay, yeah. but I'm the only one in this game so far that looks like that. Yes. But I guess there's an, enough of me that they don't get phased by my giant sword and me walking around. I mean, like, Sephiroth is a war hero. He doesn't He's look like probably he me. a soldier. <laughs> isn't he a soldier? I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Because isn't that cloud like I want to be a sold a soldier like Sephiroth? Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I would be just like Sephiroth when yeah. I grow up. <laughs> what a noble life goal. Yeah. What a what a life goal that panned out completely on your side. <laughs> yep. That's one of those things. Yeah, glad I got today off. That's one of those things. Yeah. Um, one of those things about terrorist organizations I think is so stupid. That music. I think that's Tifa's theme. <laughs> Very, very subtle Tifa's theme. <laughs> you like how you're pretty close to the bar? Yeah, and Tifa's literally sitting <laughs> right at the steps over there. Yep. Um, yeah, see? <laughs> she even waved to you. Yeah. And now I'm gonna walk away. Oh, no, I can't. I have to look at her. Yep. One of the stupid things about terrorist attacks is that they claim responsibility <laughs> for attacks. <laughs> like, if you're gonna blow something up, why would you tell everybody you did it? But... They want to scare people, so they want to say, "Ha ha! See, we did this. We're evil." That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, he has a little daughter. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> so Tifa's married to no. Oh, she's just friends. Where did you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> this is so sad. <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Yellow flower <laughs> lost. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. I love how it gives me this little dialogue option like, I didn't just choose to give her this flower. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere. Would I ever? <laughs> Mayor Domino? There's some foreshadowing. Some domino effect is going to happen. <laughs> you mean doesn't? Keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Oh, Tifa is like the the money handler. Yeah. Hey, what the hell do you think 
you're doing scaring my daughter like that. Daddy says never talk to strangers. Huh? That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Oh, I see. Go. Perfect segue to get the kid to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk some more, daddy. I just no, wanted to talk no, to you, and now I'm a stranger. Just this once. <laughs> What can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, what a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, he doesn't waste any words. Dad, we should talk outside. <sighs> Do you have the money or not? <laughs> You'll find out soon. Daddy, yep. Did the people who died all return to the planet? No, those ones just died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all return to the Bionis. When they die, uh... <laughs> they move to a farm upstate. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Wow, the sure landladies are in on this terrorism. <laughs> Great. Follow me then. I don't know if it's terrorism or extremism. <laughs> it was chaotic. Sorry well, if we were trying to do it to I, scare I a bunch of I'd civilians. Well, I mean, you're not trying to scare them, per se. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Like, you notice the way that they haven't, you know, claimed the responsibility for it. Right. They're not trying to scare people, rather, you know, cause change and also send a message. So then they would be guerrillas because... Um, terrorists are trying to hurt civilians on purpose. These guys hurt civilians on accident. Yes. Because we blew up the reactor and some people died. Instead of blowing things up to make sure that a bunch of people die. Which is what the Shinra ended up doing in order to make it look like the Avalanche was a big terrorist group. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not too far off because it's we're still blowing things up. Yeah. See, they're basically extremist guerrillas. Yeah. <laughs> we're not gorillas, we're chimps. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. War. You're on the second floor. Ah, yeah. Shout out to the Navy SEAL coffee pot. <laughs> is this up to code? There is no code. Room, it's the slums. Yeah, it's <laughs> the slums. Don't have time for much else. What with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> not even time to decorate. Are pets allowed? What about smoking? <clears throat> Can... I don't think there's smoke. There is... Can I sleep here? I mean, you uh, can't you go in the door go yet. Right oh. Yeah. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... You know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. So you still haven't answered my question about money. Yeah, yep. she hasn't. <laughs> Can confirm. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry, we spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves 1500 Good math. <laughs> I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again People for are drinking day. bright and early? Sleep tight. Just meeting uh, she, at the bar. <laughs> she runs yeah. the side business of distributing air filters. There are air filters. Right? Oh, water filters. Air filters for filters. all the horrible air pollution. Water filters for all the horrible water pollution. Great. Because it's the slums. <laughs> yeah. Underneath the giant metal pizza. Yep. Cloud is a ninja. 
<laughs> yeah. Especially considering he can hold that sword like it wastes nothing. And this yeah. apartment is barely big enough for his giant sword. <clears throat> Did I just sleep all night and just no. woke up now? No. You didn't sleep all night. <gasps> I need to go to the bathroom. <gasps> oh, look, there's another chocobo. Why are yeah. there two stalls in a one-bed apartment? I don't know, maybe the other one's a closet. Or maybe it's like shower and then bathroom's over here. But, uh, yeah, that is a question. If you had slept through the night, it wouldn't be night right now. Yeah. So there would be sunlight piercing through the holes in the pizza? Yeah. And also, you can see, um, all those giant spotlights. Yeah. <clears throat> Those are used to simulate sunlight. And they turn off when it's daytime. Or dim. When it's nighttime. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Hey! <coughs> you okay in there? Yeah, I just like coughing. I like making Come these in. sounds. Oh, there he is. As it turns out, Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> Sephiroth is my roommate. Yep. <laughs> this is now comedy. Is that really Sephiroth, or am I just going nuts again? We'll find out. Very soon. It's not Sephiroth. No. <coughs> wow, I just beat up a what cripple. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Wow, I feel awful. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Cloud is a problem. Why doesn't Cloud <laughs> literally just tell her, I had a hallucination about this evil man who I thought this was, and then Why it wasn't. would he? He's trying to act tough. He's trying to look tough. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes... He's trying desperately to act like he's a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> and also an emotionless uh, murder. Yeah. Which he uh, utterly fails to do. <laughs> yep. Well, he's got baggy pants. <laughs> he's ready to jump out of the plane. Man, that lighting, though. <laughs> yeah. Shout outs to uh, Sony and the lighting artists on this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are multiple people whose entire job was to do lighting on this, right? Probably. Both programmers and artists. <laughs> <laughs> 